from Indiana. He was fifth for the Hoosiers at the Big Ten Championships last March. Spencer Lee picking up his first Big Ten title, and Jim, as always, he never wastes any time. He doesn't, and just right in there on that shot. Got a beautiful angle on that, stuffed the head, dove in below the knee. I'll call you on green, wait for 63 me. career victories for Spencer Lee, 52 of those bonus points. And this Good. is where he really finds another level, Jim, in this top position. Yeah, it's all about trapping that near arm, all right? If you can trap that near arm up against the chest. And I think this is where guys really feel that the, 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 the strength of Lee is that if they give up that position, yeah, he captures that lit wrist, which he's, I think he's, now he's freed up down Keep there. Keep that legal. Keep it legal. Lee up 2 nothing. 35 seconds in. Has that legal. arm bar. Keep that legal. Doing a nice job of keeping it legal, right? You hear the re referee talking about keeping that position legal. Now he's, looks like he's, no, he has a trap bar. He's going to step across the side. This looks like a position where he could get a fall. Good job by Cronin trying to fight off his back. Spencer Lee last season with four, four pins four. all in the first period. Yeah, I'm holding it. He had nine four. tech falls, the most since Doug Schwab did back in 2000. Yeah, you heard the referee talk about holding the four. They felt that Lee still had the, a, a, a pinning combination involved there. Now he comes right over the top. And it, this is tight. First match of the season. Here's his first fall. Spencer Lee. State okay. Farm, a state of success. Now 19-0 all time inside Carver Hawkeye Arena. Just incredible. Here you see him, a machine as dominant as they get. Two-time national champion, Hodge Trophy winner, Sullivan Award winner. What else can you say, TJ, about Spencer Lee? That's the question. What else can you say? You can't even narrow it down. He's as good as they get, and uh, it's going to be a great uh, start. It always is with Spencer Lee. He starts fast. He gets after it. And going up against the co-Big Ten Wrestler of the Week, Patrick McKee. And Patrick McKee coming off a nice weekend when he beat then second-ranked Rayvon Foley of Michigan State. Was down 3-0, rallied back to get that decision 10-6. And that vaults him in the rankings to number nine in the track wrestling rankings. Lee versus McKee to kick things off. Just 10 degrees outside, but always hot in the inside when it's Minnesota and Iowa. There you see Larry Lee, Spencer's dad. Right up the road, vice president at Coe College. And about 20 miles north of Iowa City. So the family's all together coming from Pennsylvania, where Spencer Lee was a three-time state champion and the whole family moved, and it's a good deal for them. And here's Patrick McKee, a good bounce back after a disappointing loss against Nebraska. Uh, a good win for Liam Cronin against him, and then to come back and beat Rayvon Foley, that was a good bounce back win for McKee. One thing we know in the Big Ten, you can't feel sorry for yourself. you got to have that short memory and get back to battle. The numbers with Spencer Lee, TJ, of course, staggering. 64 career victories, 53 of those bonus points, and he's usually quick. 24 matches have ended in the first period, 17 falls, staggering. Yeah, we start out at 125 looking at a young man that is going to contend for the Olympic team this year, and we're going to end the meet with a uh, contender Nothing. for heavyweight. Number with, two, uh, three, one, man. two. This Three, is just what Lee does. Four. Comes out, attacks Hold the guy, a little Stay dump hold. there, holds for the four, 6-0. How many times, Shane, has he four. done that in his career? And here we go with bread and butter. Going to add some more near hold. fall points. Stay hold. Stay hold. Stay hold. Stay hold. Stay hold. I just have so many thoughts going hold. through my head. Stay I mean, it's, what, what kind of pressure is that? I'm, and it, it's just unbelievable. My friend Jim Miller, the director of the Dan Gable National Wrestling Hall of Fame, was telling me this week, I would pay $50 just to feel the pressure of Spencer Lee. I've said many times when I look at Big Ten greats, I'd love to feel that blast double from Jordan Burroughs, the heavy hands of an Andrew Howe, and I'd love to be on bottom of Spencer Lee because it's unbelievable. Another great stat. Last year, he outscored his opponents 234 to 18. This is the Big Ten. He makes a mockery He's of this eagle. sport. The it's eagle. not that easy. One. Looking Two. for a fall of Spencer Three. Lee. He had Three. one last week against Cronin. Took him just a minute 21. Oh. 24 tech falls in his career and working on another one. Eagle. 
here in the first he's period. Illegal. He's illegal. He's illegal. Different day, same old story. For the senior from Murraysville, Pennsylvania, Franklin Regional High School. One, Had that two, arm bar, he drove the half, and he's going to either get the fall or the tech fall right here. He gets to settle in. Spencer Lee, the number one ranked wrestler going out and going to finish this in the first period one way or another. Going to squeeze tight, adjusts. Lee looking for the fall, and he gets it. His second of the season. Order by fall for the Unbelievable. I have ran out of adjectives. And so has Tom Brands. Gives the Hawkeyes a quick 6-0 start. Now let's look at so dominant in the top position. Scores points. And here he settles in TJ and gets the slap of the mat. Yeah, there, that's after the arm bar. A half Nelson and then settles in. And Larry loves it. And the Hawkeye fans love it. Spencer Lee for the Hawkeyes, continuing where he picked off a year ago. And Justin Cardani, a redshirt sophomore out of Centennial High School. He's local from Champaign, Illinois. And Jim, when you look at Cardani, he's made some big steps. Yeah, Cardani has made some big steps, a guy that they expected to get some results from. But, you know, it's such a touch, tough matchup going against national champion Spencer Lee. And the big improvement that he's had in his game, Shane, has been not just going for the tilts, but actually putting those shoulders on the mat. He's getting it done every match. Spencer Lee is today's State Farm, a state of success. So dominant. Lee this season, 2-0, a pair of pins. He's outscored his opponents 20 to nothing. This, of course, following last season when he outscored his opponents 234 to 18. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much explains it, but it's a, it's a tough battle here for Cardani, but he's got to go out there and, and uh, you know, this is, we, we really didn't have it mentioned very much that this Illinois team is off to a nice start. They're 4-0 on the season. Uh, they've got a lot of reasons to be optimistic, and here's Spencer Lee coming out. As you mentioned, he's not allowed a point this season. And the big difference in his wrestling is he's just really, you know, since getting that Hodge Trophy, it looks like he's trying to make a huge run to go ahead and repeat as the Hodge Trophy uh, winner. And to do that, you've got to put shoulders on the mat, and that's exactly what he's done. You've been around this sport a long time, Jim. Anytime I mention Spencer Lee, you mentioned me, Gene Mills, the comparisons between those two. Yeah, I, I just so know, obviously Spencer Lee is is is, is a talent extraordinaire, and, but you take a look at a guy like uh, Mean Gene Mills, wrestled from Syracuse for Syracuse, was a national champion uh, back in 1979, an outstanding One, wrestler in '81. Did a lot of this type of stuff here. The Three things that you saw that you still see in wrestling Out. were were things that uh, uh, Mills kind of brought into the sport. Had 107 pins. That, that number's been disputed by a, a few people, including Wade Chalice, who's had, I think, yeah. 106 pins, you know, so it goes back and forth with those guys. The records weren't that great back then. But I'm from the top position, as far as lightweights go, that's the, that's the best comparison I can make, is that uh, he wrestles with those tilts a lot like Mills and actually goes for the fall like Mills did. Mills could put up the points from the top position, just like Lee. Don't recall Spencer wearing that Action. knee brace last weekend in the win against McKee. Action. And with that effort against the Gopher last week, once again, Big Ten Wrestler of the Week honors for Spencer Lee out of Murraysville, Pennsylvania, Franklin Regional High School, where he was a three-time state champion. And as is the case once again with Lee Jim, wasting no time, he gets to the legs, he finishes, goes into a tilt for nothing just like that. Yeah, see how he, he, he gets comfortable in the top positions, but he reaches over the top to try to capture those wrists. And Cardani has done a fine job to this point, just, you know, just holding position and not getting his wrist caught up close to his waist where uh, Lee can pick him up and bar him up. He gave up that one bar arm off the, the takedown. And so a little harder. Uh, you know, you, guys probably don't get enough credit from the bottom position for competing as, as they do just holding position because Lee is just, he's just in another league in that top position. And it's just uh, amazing to watch him wrestle. But you can see how it comes all the way back to the wrist to grab that bar arm right there and see where Cardani is. Got that, uh, tied his own wrist up right there. Now he's going to go ahead and try to run the bar arm. This is where he's been really good this season. 
And he goes right over the top. We've seen that this season. Yeah, he goes right over top. A lot like uh, you see the, the Ness brothers from uh, Minnesota used to do. They used to get that bar arm, particularly Jason Ness, half Nelson, and just go right up over the top with it. And that's what he's working hard for right now. Coming to hard right there with that half Nelson. Comes over to the side, and this is tight. But you can just see Cardani, still a tough guy. Can he battle it out there? He did. One Folks, that's tough to do. Yes, it is. We joked about it last year, Jim. Jack Medley from Michigan went the full seven minutes, and you and I argued that garnered Big Ten Wrestler of the Week honors. <laughs> oh, having some fun with it, but how, how, you, you know, you could say that with, with without joking. Really, now Lee on top, and this is where he's really good, pulling the, getting the head up off the mat. Quick fall right there. Spencer Lee with the 24th pin of his career. And in Big Ten duels, he improves to 25 and 0 as a Hawkeye. Impressive. It really is. I mean, you know, not just settling for the tilt. And he take, look at the job that he does readjusting. Okay, he's working for that tilt, but he comes off of it and gets right back to that bar arm position, settles back, circles around the head, and then tries to get the head up off the mat. Once you do that, the shoulders are all that's left. 125, Leanne Koontz to start us off here in West Lafayette. Of course, not in Columbus, not in Iowa City. This is a tri-meet because of the Big Ten schedule here in this 2020-2021 season. And TJ, wasting no time once again, Spencer Lee gets to work like a dog on a bone. And doing uh, Spencer Lee stuff. He went, took him down, went right to the head lever. Brought that wrist back, drove the half over. So many things he can do from here, and this is what he does best. Looking for his fourth pin of the season. He's three for three. He has spent only a total of five minutes and 40 seconds on the mat. He's outscored his opponents 24-0 this, this time season. Spen Spencer Lee, a quick 6-0 lead, potentially dangerous whistled. Four more near fall points. Unbelievable. Spencer Lee, our State Farm, a state of success. He has won 25 dual meets in the Big Ten. He has yet to taste defeat. 26 overall victories in dual meet competition. Spencer Lee does just a, like that. And he does such a great job of setting up that uh, arm bar and now loading into the lap for some more tilt points. But when he gets that head lever and then brings the wrist back, it sets everything else up. Spencer Lee, 55 of 66 victories, bonus points. There it was, just classic. Head lever down on the wrist, lets go of it, then jumps over. Half Nelson drives. One way or another, it's going to be over. A tech or a fall here for the Hawkeyes at 125. Spencer Lee settling in. He'll adjust. Cranks that neck up, and the 25th pin in his already legendary career. Spencer Lee gets the Hawks off to a great start with six on the board. On Matt two, Spencer Lee wins by fall. One hundred twenty five pounds, it is a rematch of the Big Ten Final from last March in Piscataway, the top seed Spencer Lee of Iowa 
and Devin Schroeder, the senior for Purdue. And Jim, he's been phenomenal in this tournament. He's beaten both the two and three seats. Yeah, he's been really solid. And, and you know, you just knew that, that that whole weight class from two through 11, as far as the seeds go, a lot of evenly matched guys. Not surprised to see a seven seed come out of there. Spencer Lee, the two-time reigning national champion, looking for his second Big Ten title. Devin Schroeder being introduced as he makes his way down the carpet onto the big stage of the championship mats here inside the Bryce Jordan Center. And Spencer Lee from Iowa, a jog he is very familiar with. And here you see their path to this final. Spencer Lee getting that quick pin against Foley in the semifinals. And as I mentioned before, Schroeder, very impressive. He beat the number two seed, Cronin, 3-1. to one, Followed it up last night in dominating fashion, 10 nothing. TJ with Schroeder, very good in that top position. He is, and he, it's the um, influence of assistant coach A.J. Shop, who was so good at it when he was at Edinburgh, and he's very tough on top, but he's got to get there, so he's got to, his key go. is to keep this match going so that he can get on top, and that's easier said than done. In that final last year, it was a 16-2 major decision for Spencer Lee. Jim, the story has Watch always hands, been Watch a quick hands. start. His urgency is in all caps. He's relentless. <laughs> it is in all caps. And, you know, I think you always look for improvement even amongst these great wrestlers. And with Spencer Lee, I think the improvement this year has been, you know, is not necessarily going for the tilts as much. He's looking to put shoulders on the mat. And I think that another, you know, subtle way that he's improved this season, when he gets in on a shot, he's, his, his, you know, percentage of finishing is pretty close to 100%. Here's a shot from the Boilermaker, Schroeder. And that's exactly what uh, Schroeder needs to do, is to go out there and create some action. He can go ahead and, and uh, dump Spencer to his rear end there, try to scoop that bottom leg, but now you see the flexibility. He's able to get to the far ankle and drive through and get a takedown. Devin yeah, Schroeder with a takedown to go up 2 nothing. That's just, just really well done. On the mat too. Let's take a look at this on the replay. There. Take, let's take a look at Schroeder. He's going to knock him down to his rear. Once he sets that, that, that. that rear end down, he's going to work to scoop the bottom leg. And he reaches across. No, he doesn't even scoop the bottom leg. He's all the way around so he can get to the far ankle. So once he gets this far ankle, shoelaces up, driving through. In good position, and there's no stopping that when you get that far ankle. You know, that length really helps as he is able to drop, get over and get that ankle and drive through. You're always going to get the takedown. Well, key moment in this match here because Schroeder is exceptional in the top position. We'll see if he's able to do anything with that. But what impressed you most about that attack from Schroeder coming out quick? Man, you really Two don't show. see Spencer Lee get taken down too often, so I think it was just uh, it was clean finish. Um, he kept the pressure on Spencer Lee, and he really used his head. You could see yeah. Schroeder's head was right in Spencer's ribs, which is exactly where it should be the whole time. So he's in on the leg again, and we'll see if he can convert again. Devin Schroeder's been the aggressor with two leg attacks extended now underneath, trying to work back up. Good recovery there from Schroeder, who leads it 2-1. to one. And here's Spencer Danger. Lee doing what Danger. he always does. Yeah, that was a great job of defense by Spencer with uh, his what? hips as an anchor to two. keep uh, Schroeder off it and then dropping One. right back in Five, two, with that dump. Two, two. Three unanswered for the Hawkeye Lee. And some near fall as well. Keep working, gentlemen. Keep working. 115 remaining here in this first period. Keep working. Schroeder out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids Central Action, Catholic was an NWCA first-team All-American a year ago after that runner-up finish in the Big Ten Finals. Ranked 12th in the well, country. Still make. And we'll come back to the center with just over a minute left. Yeah, Lee did a really nice job of not letting uh, Schroeder reset and get space and go in and out because once he got to his feet, he dropped right back in and didn't let Schroeder get that Green. space that he wanted because he likes to go no, in no, and no, out. Those are here. Those are here. Yeah, it's, a, it's almost like an Ready out then back in. You know, he clears his hips away and then comes back up when, when his opponent just comes up. He doesn't need That's much room to get back into on, on that uh, a shot. Want to mention the whistles you hear are from the mats One, that are to both sides of this championship mat, wrestling third and fifth place matches. So you'll hear some whistles from those matches as well. 
Right, right back on a shot right there and see how if he works. To, the one thing that makes Spencer unique is he able to keep a hold of that arm and keep those shoulders at 45. We'll see if he tries to go ahead and elevate that bottom leg. You see his right hand on that bottom leg. Does a really nice job of keeping that elevated in place. No. That's what's really no. helping him. He turned the, uh, no, sir. the hips. Now he's going to get a little bit tighter with that elevation, and he's following up and circling Two. around, and now he's going to get the count. Three. Spencer Lee oh, adding near God. fall inside the final 20 seconds here in this first period. He gave up that first takedown, but since it has been all the Hawkeye here in this 125-pound final. He's so dominant, 22 of his last 23 going. victories, bonus points. The Hodge Trophy winner and Sullivan Award winner from 2020. Good first period. Jimmy, you made a great point as he was pulling up that leg. He uses every part right, of his body, and he used his hips, kind of yeah, like a, 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 an arm bar there to, uh, show, uh, to shove the shoulders oh, to forward. Every part of his body was used in Red. that uh, turn. Neutral. Neutral. Yeah, but I like, again, what you're saying. It, it, yeah. He's focusing on turning that bottom, elevating that bottom leg. And when you elevate that bottom leg, then you can, whatever you have Fingers up there on the, on, towards the shoulders, you can just circle your body around, and that's what puts the shoulders at 45. Lee able to get to the legs of Schroeder, pops his head, two, and two more three. for the Hawkeye. And it, it's just going to get worse here right now because Spencer has a hold of a wrist. You saw earlier in the match where Schroeder was able to go ahead and keep his wrist clean. Action, guys. After the first takedown, but now those, when he gets starts working on you in this position, Schroeder battling and again keeping those hands out and away. It's good for a Action, while, guys. but you know, Action. this is what he does. He rolls that arm over, collects that wrist. Schroeder just doing everything he can, and then he works walks into a tilt One, with that. Two, three. Four points here will not be a tech Four, fall, yeah. but if he Four. breaks the hold and readjusts and puts him right back into that position and turns him, it will be a tech fall. Riding time over two minutes. Not relevant at the moment with 50 seconds, second period. You look at his run last year for Spencer Lee, 51-5 to outscoring his opponents to his first Big Ten title. He's been dominant once again here in 2021. Just so strong. It, you know, just when he... Two, grabs something and, and pins it to his chest. Four. It's a matter at that point in time. He just takes himself almost to a 45 degree angle and gets the points. So another oh, near ball set of player and there. that makes it a tech fall. It looks like a football and score, but it is a tech the fall for Spencer Lee. 21-3. And the Hawkeye claims his second Big Ten title. Stayed poised after giving up that first score, and then he got to work. And he able right here, even as in this uh, fireman's carry position, and this was where I thought it was pretty impressive. You're elevating that Lee. bottom leg, coming around to get near fall points. Boy, he is just dominant. Let's send it down to Ray Flores, who is with the now two-time Big Ten champion. Thank you very much, Shane Spencer. Congratulations on winning your second straight Big Ten championship. How does this one feel? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I mean, I, I won, so happy about it, I guess. Got a lot of work to do. Last year, you were dominant. This year, it has been even more dominant. You've outscored your opponents 82-7. to 7. What has been the key to your success here in 2021? Uh, just belief, you know. Uh, I mean, I gave up the first takedown. That was the first time I think I've ever gave up the first takedown. And maybe 100 matches or something. Or, you know, maybe since the last time I lost, even, I don't know. So just uh, being calm and ready to wrestle no matter what. Spencer, congratulations on winning your second straight Big Ten championship. Thank you.